Here we have a vertical two-phase separator, which has had portions of its shell cut away to allow us to see the internal components of the vessel. The inlet flow on a separator such as this enters at the side here. And first it hits an inlet diverter, which abruptly changes the direction of the flow and spins it around the inside of the vessel shell. After the inlet flow is diverted around the inside of the vessel shell, the liquid falls down to the bottom of the vessel to this liquid collecting section. In the liquid collecting portion of this separator, the level is controlled by a float, which operates a liquid dump valve on the outlet line over here. At the very bottom of the separator, we have a sand drain, which allows us to drain any debris or sediment that is collected in the separator out through this line. So we have our outlet line over here for the liquid. We have our dump valve, which is controlled by the float, maintains the level in the separator. Over here, we have the motor valve, which controls the pressure in the separator, a back pressure valve, which is connected on the gas line. The gas outlet, of course, being on the top of the separator after the gas is passed through the mist extractor and comes down and over here. We also see on the top of our separator our safety valve, which is connected to a flare line that allows us to relieve any excess pressure that might build up in the separator.